Happy day children, I am very happy to meet you once again to our channel Amal Vision. Last time uh, I have been meeting you to the same channel and I was talking to you about the laziness and I was telling you laziness is a devil. I hope many of my students have seen the video through the YouTube and uh, enjoy the video which I came to know through the responses that is being given by my children. I am very happy to see all your responses and you have shared the story with me and you have also seen, uh, told me that uh, you have uh, created a schedule to make yourself active during your lockdown days. Very good children. It is not only for you. Please also uh, educate your uh, friends, your sisters, brothers at home and it is always good that you keep yourself engaged. And from today onwards, I am going to talk to you under a title called Good Amalience. And the title is Good Amalience. Before I go to my topic today, let me brief you what is an Amalian. I hope you should all understand what is meant by Amalian. Amalian is the tag name for all the students and staff of Amalur Poem. If you are a student of Amalur Poem, may be a present student or a past student, you can call yourself to be an Amalian. The teachers and all the staff members of the school are called as Amalians. You see the word is being used in the lyrics of a, a school anthem. So, if somebody asks you, where are you studying? You can even say, I am an Amalian and be proud that you are studying in the institution, Amalur Poem. So, hereafter onwards, I will be talking to you under the title, Good Amalians. And what is it going to talk to you? I am going to talk to you, how should an Amalian be? What are the qualities of an Amalian? When you say Amalian, you should have some good qualities with you. So, that is what I am going to discuss in the upcoming days through our video channel, YouTube channel, Amal Vision. And as I uh, start my uh, video session today, I want to tell you a story. And the story is something which is known to you, not uh, a new story. A very famous story which most of you should have uh, come across. A story of two woodcutters which you could have seen in uh, cartoon movies and uh, also in uh, various other YouTube channels. In a village, there lived uh, two persons named uh, Dina and Soma. For both these uh, persons, uh, their main business is uh, out cutting. Dina, the first person, is a very uh, sincere person and uh, he used to be uh, very honest in his life. Soma is a person who is quite lazy and uh, not interested in working for uh, very long hours. These both uh, woodcutters were uh, living in a village where the village was uh, lying near to a forest. One day, the woodcutter Dina started, his, uh, started from home very early morning and uh, gone with his uh, axe uh, to a forest where he used to normally cut a wood. He used to travel to the forest by crossing the house of Mr. Soma. When Soma sees uh, Dina, he is very jealous. What is this? Dina is getting up every day, early morning. He is going to his work and he is being very active and sincere. Why am I not able to be very sincere like this? Likewise, he feels jealous about the activeness and the hard working of uh, Dina. Dina goes to work. As usual, he is going to the forest where he used to do his uh, wood cutting. But that day, he didn't find anything uh, good enough to do his job. So, he thought, let me go to some other place where I can go and have a, a better woods 
to make his life being. So he has travelled a little bit way and he has gone to a riverside where he has seen a very thick forest and there he was very happy to have his uh, wood cutting done. He climbed on a tree, Dina climbed on a tree and uh, he started doing his uh, job of wood cutting. While he was sincere in his duty, what happened is that the axe, what he was using to cut the uh, wood had slipped and fell into the river. You know that without the axe, Dina cannot do anything. He started crying, what is this? My only property which is used to earn my life is the axe. But I have lost that axe, what can I do? Even if I have to purchase the axe, I have to spend lots of money. How can I earn my bread? How can I earn my life? How can I do my living? He was very much worried, crying. And as usual, as we people do, what we do when we are in trouble, we normally go and call upon God. God help me. When we are happy in life, we never call God. When something good happens to our life, we never call God. When something bad happens to us, what we do? We curse God. God is, uh, God is not having any mercy on us. Likewise, this uh, gentleman, the woodcutter, was calling God, God, come on, help me. But the, uh, the very happy thing about here is, God appeared and he asked uh, Dina, my dear son, what is your problem? Dina said, I was doing my woodcutting work and when I was doing it, my axe fell into the river. God immediately took up an axe from the river and asked him whether it was his axe. Dina was happy to see the axe because it was glittering as it was made of gold. He has never seen an axe like this. Dina could have never seen an axe like this because it was a golden axe. Nobody should have seen it. But Dina was very much honest to say, no, no God, this is not my axe. Again, God took up another axe from the river which is made of silver and again asked him, Dina, is it yours? He said, no. Finally, he took up an axe made of iron and asked him, Dina, is this your axe? He said, yes, my dear God, it is my axe. The God was very happy about uh, the honesty of uh, Mr. Dina, the woodcutter and uh, he has given him a reward of all the three axes and appreciated his honesty. Happily carrying all the three axes and most importantly carrying the uh, golden axe, he came running to his house. You know, Dina has to go to his house only by crossing Soma's house. So, he was happily running to his house and uh, when he was crossing Soma's house, Soma has seen Dina running very happily and he has also noticed that uh, Dina is not carrying a very ordinary axe, he is carrying a golden axe. This fellow, Soma, annoyed. What happened? How is this uh, Dina is able to get a golden axe? He found out something has happened and uh, he also started following. That is, uh, Soma also started following Dina without knowing to him. Dina reached house called on his wife, my dear wife, please come. And uh, he told his wife the incidents, whatever happened uh, in the river bank and said, God has given me three axes, one made of gold and one made of silver and another made of uh, iron which is belonging to me. Dina's wife appreciated, congratulated and uh, was very happy about the honest of his husband, that is Mr. Dina. And they have planned to sell the uh, golden axe for the better living. All these conversations between Dina and uh, Miss, Mrs. Dina were being uh, heard by Mr. Soma by being uh, outside his house. So Soma also has started his plan. Soma decided tomorrow when Dina goes uh, to the uh, forest to cut his wood, let me also follow him and find out where this uh, incident has happened. Where did God come to shower blessings to Dina and let me follow the same so that let me also get the golden axe. 
next day started dina has sold out his uh, golden axe and uh, had a very good living although dina has become rich by selling his golden axe he was not lazy enough to sit at home and enjoy his wealth as usual he carried on to do his work the next morning has come he has gone to work by crossing uh, soma's uh, house soma has seen uh, dina go into his job and without knowing to him he was following him and uh, when he crossed the river to go to a particular uh, tree where he is supposed to do his wood cutting he was uh, soma was hiding in a bush to see what is happening there as usual dina has uh, uh, done some sort of wood cutting whatever is required for him and uh, he returned home soma who was uh, hiding in a bush gone to the same tree climbed up the tree started cutting his wood and intentionally he has dropped his axe in the river as done by dina soma also has cried but you should understand nobody can fool god god is a creator nobody can fool god so accepting the request of uh, soma god has also appeared but god knows that soma is trying to play a fool with me god appeared and asked soma my dear soma what do you want soma said oh my lord i have left my axe in the river that's my only wealth which i could do my uh, business please help me to get the axe god has taken the uh, axe which is made up of iron and shown him soma is this your axe soma very very well said what is this i thought god will give me golden axe he is showing me the iron axe he is showing me the same axe you are shocked and said no 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 this is not my axe god again shown him a silver axe soma was not happy with silver axe you know his target is to get the golden axe he again said no this is not my axe finally god has taken the golden axe and shown him very happily he said yes 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 this is my axe god said you foolish man you want to be lazy and you wanted to get the reward by not working the person who doesn't work will not be rewarded and above all you wanted to cheat me the god since you wanted to cheat me i am not ready to give you even the uh, axe what belongs to you and god has disappeared the woodcutter mr soma has learned a lesson that honesty is the most important for a happy living and thereafter he understood and he cried and requested again god to appear for him to get a pardon and he wanted his own axe for his living but god has not appeared before him god has not appeared before him and uh, he lost his axe what was his only wealth for his well being the moral behind this story is honesty is a first chapter in the book of wisdom which is being given by thomas jefferson i can also tell you some more uh, thoughts with regard to honesty which is also going to be very interesting for you and the first one is blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god this is being taken from the holy bible from matthew verses 5 to 8 the statement say very clearly blessed are the pure in heart if you are pure in heart if you have no jealousy or anything bad in your hearts god is there to bless you blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god for the honest people what is that you get is you get the blessings of the lord that's what the statement says blessed are the pure in hearts and the blessings what you get for the purity in heart for the honesty is nothing but you are be, you will be blessed by god 
in your lifetime. Coming up the next proverb, what we can see is by William Shakespeare, a very big author in English. No legacy is so rich as honesty. No legacy is so rich as honesty. There is no other wealth that is bigger than honesty. There is no other wealth that is bigger than honesty. Meaning, honesty is the most important wealth of every human being. So, what these loving quotes uh, tell you, my children, is you have to be honest at all times. Life is a precious uh, gift of God. And during this precious, uh, this precious gift, what God has given you, you should be honest, you should be humble, and you should do all good things, whatever is possible. Life cannot be something like a, a standard uh, way of living. Sometimes you may be happy in life. Sometimes you may have difficulties in life. So even though you have difficulties in life, even those times also, you should not go dishonest. You should not go beyond the line of honesty. Even during those days of trials and uh, difficulties, you should be in the line of honest and prove that you are the good Amalians. Let me also discuss what are all the various dishonest acts of a student. When you are in school, when you are doing your studies, might be in the school or might be at home, there are some dishonest activities normally students do. If you do everything to be good, you are not a normal uh, child. So there are some times where you go cross the borders of honest and do some dishonest activities. As I have recalled, based on our experience in the schools, I would say these are some of the dishonest activities which you will also accept to me. The first one is lying. Lying. Even for simple reasons, I have seen students telling a lie. You may be fighting with each other. The teacher may come to the class and see that you are fighting. When the teacher is asking you, why are you fighting in the class? Both of you will say each and every, will, will say some stories, will lie automatically to get yourself safeguard from the teacher. Lying for simple reasons. Copying the exam. Number two, is copying the exam. I hope I did not give you any explanations which is very well known to you. Talking ab bad about somebody else. Talking bad about somebody else. If you don't like a person, if you want to complain him, what you will do? You will say bad about uh, that particular boy or that particular girl to your teacher, to your friends, to your parents. If you don't like a particular person, you start telling uh, bad about him, which is also one of the dishonest activity that is being done by your children. Failing to do the homeworks. Nowadays it has become a habit. Most of you children are, are not doing the homeworks. And even these days we are feeling very difficult to give the homeworks to you. The defaulters in homeworks have increased. Homework, first of all understand, it is the responsibility of a student to do the homework at home whereby he is practicing what he has learned at home. Homework is again an activity given for you to do your work of your own so that you will practice the same in your future years when you grow up. But what you people think homework is a difficult work, you think homework to be a punishment, very few students do their homework of their own efforts, they make it a practice to go home, take a bath in the evening and do the homework, but others make it a practice to copy those homeworks from the students who are well in the studies. So, not doing the homework, failing in your homework is also a dishonest activity. Coming up the next one, cheating, for which again I will not give you any explanation, saying false statements about somebody for no reasons, whereby you are hurting somebody, which is also another dishonest activity. Number six, stealing. This happens very rarely, but some students are not shamed enough even to go for stealing. Stealing, I say, stealing the belongings of some other student. If something is, uh, you feel attractive uh, 
available in another store and with your friend what you do is that you take it up without going to him it might be his pen or a pencil it might be his uh, pencil boxes that is what we keep on advising students not to bring any valuable things to school even for the girl students we say you are going uh, you are coming from house uh, to your school i we see some students uh, wearing some uh, very big gold ornaments we say no somebody may steal uh, while you come uh, while you come to the school on the road so we advise the children not to take any uh, costly uh, things to school so some small small cheating is also happening in schools among your friends which is also a misconduct which is also a dishonest activity the next one misrepresentation misrepresentation is nothing but the act of giving false information about something or about someone in order to get an advantage that is if you want to spoil the name of somebody what do you normally do you create all bad stories about him and say to your teacher or to say somebody with a willingness to spoil the particular boy's name or a girl's name or a teacher name even you children what do you do if you don't like a teacher you go to the you go to your parent and say no papa i don't like this uh, I, uh, this teacher is not teaching me properly this teacher is always punishing me he is asking questions only to me he is making me stand every day in the class and asking me questions why are you complaining this the teacher is making you to study because you are not studying but what are you doing instead of understanding the uh, the goodness of your teacher instead of understanding uh, how good the teacher is you are trying to punish the teacher by informing the parent that the teacher is always punishing you always irritating you always uh, scolding you this is what i can call it to be a miss representation where the act of giving false information about something or someone in order to get advantage so you want to get advantage that you are a good student and you are saying something false about some person who are really good next one conspiracy and the meaning is the act of secretly planning with other people to do something bad or illegal normally you see in uh, lots of films the heroes and uh, the villains what the villain normally do they will try to attack the hero similarly if you don't like somebody in the school what do you do you put up a gang of your uh, friends you make up a gang of your friends and say no we have to hit this boy and you start planning to hit the particular boy and what do you do you start planning how to do that that is what here we call it as conspiracy meaning the act of secretly planning with other people to do something bad or illegal which would harm others so it is again an act of dishonesty next one the ninth one fabrication meaning to make up a story in order to make someone believe something that is not true i'll repeat again to make up a story in order to make someone believe something that is not true so you are fabricating some false statements about the per- about a person whom do you don't like as i already told you complaining about the teacher a very good teacher to your parent almost these both are uh, quite similar so here we call it to be a fabrication of facts that is you are suppressing the facts and you are trying to fabricate some ill things about a particular person whereby you are trying to spoil his name and put him into difficulties fabrication and last and the final thing the point number 10 duplication duplicate submission duplicate submission for example if a teacher uh, is asking you to show your paper that is normally in the morning we used to teacher used to check your uh, slip test papers and you know the slip test paper the parent has to sign the slip test paper if you have forgot to get the signature from your parent it is not a big mistake if you tell your teacher the teacher may excuse you in case it is going to be a first time in case if you are repeating several times the teacher may even inform the parent and to correct you the teacher may give you some sort of warnings 
or some sort of retentions. But what you do? You don't want to be caught. You do some duplication. What is the duplication? You sign your parent signature, whereby it is also an act of dishonesty. So these are some of the ten points which students normally do in the schools. Not only in schools, even at home, even at home, dishonesty is not only in school. Even it is happening in home. You cheat your parents. You say false statements about somebody to your parents. So all these things are happening. Something at school and something at home. And finally, you are trying to go beyond the light line of honesty, whereby you are also losing your integrity. I again repeat. You are also losing your integrity. But one thing to say: the school and the parent are teaching you only good things. I again uh, wanted to know how is that you children are learning such sort of dishonest activities. Nobody is teaching you dishonesty. The parent is not teaching you dishonesty. The parent is not telling you, please always say a false statement to your teacher or to your friends or lie with your uh, uh, relatives or other uh, other people. Nobody is saying that. Even there is no lessons being taught to you to be dishonest. But where do you children learn dishonesty? I was very much shocked, and I was just uh, keeping on searching in my uh, websites to find out where. What is the reason for arisal of dishonesty in the children in this young age? Because if you are very honest in this young age, you will be honest throughout your life. If you are not honest and if you are practicing dishonesty in these uh, school days, you will make it a practice to do it even in college days, and even when you are grown up, when you go to work, when you make your own business. You may continue this dishonesty. So I started finding out the facts behind the dishonesty among children, and I have found out some four points, four to five points, as the reasons for dishonesty. Let me also discuss the same with you right now. Number one, you are dishonest because you want to avoid punishments. For example, if you are not finished your homework, if you have signed your parents' signature. If you are not brought something to school which is most essential, the teacher is going to scold you, or going to give you some punishment. He, uh, he or she uh, might make you stand in the class. But in order to avoid such punishments, you children, in order to get rid of punishment, you are saying a lie. You are saying a lie, saying a lie to maintain your name. For example, you made some mistake. to hide that mistake and to save god the name of a good student you student may also say some lie maybe to your teacher or maybe to your father so that you get rid of uh, that is uh, you maintain the name of your good uh, good student so since you wanted to maintain the reward of good student you are saying a lie for no reasons and uh, at times it may help you but it may not be helpful for you at all times so to obtain a reward not otherwise readily obtainable for such reasons also you students are telling a lie number 3 to protect another person from being punished i remember a very uh, interesting situations here a teacher is taking a class let me repeat the statement now to protect another person from being punished for example teacher is taking class normally it happens in higher classes the teacher is taking class the class is going on somebody may gossip or suddenly laugh or uh, do some nonsense when the teacher is on the board the teacher has heard it looks to the students the teacher looking to the student asking the students there was something wrong happening somebody was laughing somebody was mocking what's happening the entire class will be very quiet everybody know who has done some mistake some some mistake has gone somebody was laughing or somebody was uh, disturbing the class something uh, bad was happening the teacher has heard it but not do not know who is that when the teacher ask the students in front of uh, her or him 
nobody opens the mouth you want to hide the fact you want to hide a person who has done wrong and wants to safeguard him and you are not in a position to report to the teacher what is the fact that has happened so that the teacher can correct the particular child so in order to safeguard your friend you are hiding the wrongs of your error of your friend which is also a dishonest activity whereby you good children at such situations are also going bad and under such circumstances you are starting to tell some lie or trying to hide the fact behind the situation so that is also wrong number 4 to win the admiration of others to win the admiration of others since you want somebody to say that you are good some students used to say something wrong or fabricate something to get the admiration of others no admiration is not by saying a, a false statement admiration is by your activity to get an admiration you need not go beyond the line of discipline you have to be in the line of honesty and prove and make yourself to be admired by everybody so you to win the admiration of others you people are going beyond the line of honesty not good to avoid embarrassments if i get up and say a truth will my teacher shout at me will my uh, friends laugh at me will my friend mock at me don't worry you are learning a lesson don't worry about others don't worry about embarrassments and because of the embarrassments when you say a lie your friends are all seeing that and when they see they also know this my friend has told a lie they may say hey okay da baravala da nee poi solli maatigam tapichikitta abdin solli your friends may appreciate you but in the later years when you all go for job your friend who is working with the, in some other company when somebody ask about you they may say avana ava nariya poi pesuva school la kodam padinaaga teacher ta nariya poi solluva so the friend who was sitting with you who was encouraging you appreciating you on those days for having uh, uh, escape from your teacher in the later years he says that you are a liar so that situation you want to escape from that situation and you want to avoid yourself from the embarrassments but what happens that is spoiling your future so when i have gone through the various web pages i came to know these are some there are very many factors why the student tell a lie but out of all those factors i have uh, pointed you some seven reasons why student tell a lie so these are the major factors in order to safeguard you ultimately to say in order to safeguard you in order to protect your name in order to make others believe that you are a good student you are telling a lie but your lie is not being watched only by your teacher is not being heard by any only a teacher is being heard by all your friends and one day they will say to the world that you are a liar you are a dishonest person they will say you are the person you have no integrity and they will say don't believe this person he is a liar whatever he says he will never say the truth i have never heard him saying truth your friend who was supporting you by clapping your uh, all your dishonest activities in the school will be against you when he goes out of the school so try to be always in the line of honesty so that your life will be always prosperous what is the benefits of being honest why should we be honest very many are saying lies a person who is coming to make a business says lots thing about a particular product he says if is uh, selling a soap if you use this soap you will become fair and white you will become a fairy queen the person who is selling a tablet says if you take this tablet uh, you will get it cured so very many are saying lies dishonesty is somewhere which is spread across the world very many people say very many lie in their own positions but why am i telling you to be honesty why am i asking you to practice honesty as a good amalian i am advising you i am requesting you i am requesting my children i want my children to practice honesty so again i have to tell you 
what are the benefits of honesty there is a benefit of each and everything i told you what are the non benefits of uh, that, uh, that uh, what are the causes because of dishonesty today if you are dishonest tomorrow the same student was encouraged you for being dishonest tomorrow they may say this fellow is a very 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 a very big liar he may spoil his he spoil your name with somebody that is a demerits of being dishonest and if you want to be honest there are very many merits there are very many merits and let me narrate the few things to you number 1 being honest is about yourself not others by being honest you are proving that you are good you are trying to prove that your hearts are always good number 2 being honest is a sign of strong people and dishonesty is a sign of the weak people very simple honesty let's also make it as a proverb honesty is a sign of a good people and dishonesty is a sign of a bad people nobody says i want to be bad and if you say i want to be a good person in life so your way is to be a honest life so honesty is a sign of a good person and if i say good amelians you should be a honest person number 3 being honest means you respect yourself and respect other even if the truth hurts you again i repeat being honest means you respect yourself and respect even others even if the truth is hurting you so by being honest we are respecting others we are respecting oneself and we are also respecting others sometime the truth may put you into trouble but don't worry that truth may even safeguard you in your future years so try to be always truthful number 4 being honest mean you are not selfish you see an ordinary man the people who have come come up in life today even the last situation i was uh, last lecture i was telling you about uh, gandhi ji abdul kalam our senior principal and i was talking about uh, the the founder of the reliance dhirubhai ambani if all people have grown in life it is again because of their honesty honest the honest being that you are not selfish they have worked hard they were not selfish to get what is uh, available to somebody some other people they don't they don't want to get it uh, out of laziness as uh, the woodcutter uh, has done soma has done soma wants to get the golden axe out of selfishness but dina has got the axe out of his honesty don't try to get achieve anything because of your selfishness and when you achieve something because of your selfishness that will not last for a very long time children and when you work hard and try to achieve that out of your hard work without any selfishness that will be in your uh, with you for all through the years so being honest mean that you are not selfish a very nice statement coming up the next one being honest is integrity being honest is integrity let me explain you something about integrity as i end up my speech end up my speech so being honest is being truthful very simple next being honesty brings you inner peace if you say a lie you should keep remembering the lie always neenga poi sonna naaka and the poiya neenga ena seyano nyaamam vachine ganu adive nam unme mattum dhaan pesrom naaka yaarku nam bhai pada thevala kavala pada thevala உண்மை சம்பத்தி நாம் வச்சுக்கணும் பொய் சம்பத்தி நாம் வச்சுக்கணும்னாக்கா அது ரொம்ப கஷ்டமான விஷயம் நம்ம பொய் மட்டும் நம்ம உண்மையை மட்டும் பேசினாக்கா என்ன ஆகும் லெட்ஸ் நாட் வரி அபவுட் எனி திங் ஹூ அவர் ஆஸ் மீ அட் வாட் அவர் சுச்சுவேஷன் இஃப் ஐ டேக் அ ப்ராபிஸ் டாக் வரி த ட்ரூத் அவர் ஹார்ட் வில் பி வெரி பீஸ்ஃபுல் அண்ட் வி வில் ஹாவ் நோ பர்டன்ஸ் இன்சைட் இட் லெட்ஸ் நாட் பி வரிட் அபவுட் எனி பாடி வென் வி ஆர் ஹானஸ்ட் டு எவ்ரி பாடி கம்மிங் அப் பீங் ஹானஸ்ட் கெயின் ட்ரஸ்ட் அண்ட் கிரெடிபிலிட்டி when you are honest what happens everybody will trust you they will say you are a good people if you are a good if you are a businessman they will say no we can buy the product from this person we can buy the product from this shop because he is a very honest man so for even a business honesty is most important there are very many shops available you see only some shops are doing good for example if you take a, a that is if you take a, a purchase of pipes there are very many pipe shops available but you see although very many pipe shops are available in the in, in your town 
only some shops are doing good business why they are not selfish they are very happy with whatever they have and they try to do a business with a very little margin the small margin and our all people say our nane manavare is a very good person and honesty will also give a very good business so only if you practice honesty from the school days you will try to practice the honesty in your uh, uh, future years when you go for your own business or when you go for work and honesty gives you good business and also good name next one being honest brings you true friend than a fake friend today when i ask you how many friends do you have you say i have lots of friends of course friends are the people who can uh, be with you at all times i do have lots of friends and even today we are uh, chatting and enjoying with some other friends but in friends again there are good friends and bad friends there are some people who guide you they say who is right, what is right what is wrong but some say whatever you do even you do a wrong thing they say i is wrong correct teacher the poison of vidya is wrong correct he is misguiding you so good friend and a fake friend if you are true the good friends will join with you if you are bad the bad friends will join with you what do you want everybody wants to be good and everybody wants to have good friends who can uplift you who can guide you who can help you in the time of difficulties so if you want a good friend you should be always honest and being honest is confidence when you always say true uh, the truth you will say no i am always right i am not worry about anybody i am confident that i am the right person it gives you confidence it gives you the ability to say always i am the right person so honesty gives you confidence and finally honesty connects you with good people today we should have lots of people for our support as i told you life is not something which goes on in a straight line it has lots of ups and downs during difficulties we may be in need of somebody to help us and when somebody has to help us we need good people to be there with us always and how can you gain the good people you can gain good people only when you are good so being honest connects good people so all these are the benefits of being honest children don't think by telling a lie we are being uh, we can escape out of difficulties at that situation you can escape out of difficulties but if you want to be happy in the future life today is not important tomorrow is important if you want to be happy tomorrow what should you do you should always practice honesty being a student of amalor poem if you have to be a good amalian if you want to be an example to the student community the first and the foremost thing what i want my children to follow is honesty there is a very common proverb which everybody every student should know honesty is the best policy honesty is the best policy if you are honest everybody will respect you everybody will want to be like a, want to become a friend everybody wants to help you everybody wants to promote you but if you are not honest there are people waiting for you so that they will pull you down they will put you into a ditch they will push you into a well whenever time permits so always try to be honesty and try to gain good friends because of your honesty and honesty is expected at three places it's common to all and it's common to life honesty is expected in three places you should be honest in your work number 1 you should be honest in your work number 2 you should be honest in your relationships number 3 you should be honest in your friendship i again repeat honesty is most important at three places honest at work honest at relationships and honest in friendships honest in work you come to school every day some students what they do take their books keep their books lying on the table teacher will say something and you will be dreaming about dreaming about something what can i go home and do for next sunday what film can i watch at home what sort of game i can play with my sister wasting your time you are not honest in your work you are told to do the homeworks you are not doing your homeworks not honest in your work you are asked to revise at home during your holidays 
but what do you do you are watching tv going uh, roaming in the streets and uh, wasting your time not honest in your works honesty is a only important thing which will uplift your life so at any place of work wherever you are even after you grow up when you go to your uh, job when somebody is giving you a job he is not only giving you a job he is also paying you salaries even in that place you should be honest for the quantity of amount you should not work not for the amount you should work you should work in such a way that you uplift the particular institution your teachers are all here formal teachers are here in your school nearly 600 teachers are here they are working day and uh, night for the good of you and that is the reason why the school is being uplifted everybody is working together for the betterment of the children and that is the reason why student is uh, school is today in a very greater heights with lots of uh, pride and uh, 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 it is very famous across the nations so wherever whatever work you do be honest most important when you sit for any work pray god that i should be honest in my work i should do good in my work so that everybody loves me honesty in work is most important second thing honesty in relationship is very much important you are a student and when you go home you are a child you are a son or a daughter of your parent you should be honest with your father and mother the relationship the parent relationship should be, be there should be only honesty go and say whatever things has happened in school but be honest in your words don't say something to your father and some some else, something else to your mother your father and mother should be honest family relationship should be very honest likewise brothers and sisters to be honest don't say something bad to your sister or your sister should not say something bad to your uh, brothers to you likewise relationship should be very strong and to make the relationship very strong honesty is very important the relationship will normally break when you're not honest so maintaining relationships is most most important if you have a friend if you have got a very good friend in class 1 you should try to maintain the friend till your death till your last breath and if you want to maintain a very good friend till your last breath what is important you should be honest in relationship that is most important finally coming up friendship friendship is also something what is being spoken by me even there you need to be very honest so all all these three places are somewhere where you should maintain your honesty not only these three circumstances in also at other circumstances so that you always make yourself the right person truthful person so that the world believes you everybody believes you and everybody appreciates you when you are honest you will have a very long way in life and uh, people by loving at your honesty will uh, also love to lift you will have a love to lift you nalla payam ba avanga vela vaangi tharalam ba he is a very good uh, citizen we have to help him he is he is, uh, he is very he is uh, suffering in his life we have to help him so if you are honest you will have a very long way for example if you take uh, uh, if you take me when we were studying in our school the same institution amlor poem our teachers have taught us honesty good values what i'm talking to you right now is not something which has been given to me by some other source it has been taught to me by school by the school amlor poem i am an amalian because of a student by being a student i am amalian today as i am an alumni i am an amalian as i am a staff today and whatever i'm talking to you right now is all being taught by my teachers and at this time i should thank my teachers also so whatever they have taught us it is what we are following today and what we are following today is a reason why we are very good today right now today i'm happy in my life even happy in my life with a very good job with a very good family it's all because of my parents and teachers it's all what is being taught by my parents and by my teachers so now i am teaching you to be good in life and the first lesson what i am teaching you to be honest so many thousands of students are hearing my words i will be very happy to see if my students are honest i will be very happy to see that they are very honest and by practicing the policy of honesty if you are going to be good in your life 
we teachers will be the happiest person in the world and you parents and your parents will be the happiest persons in the world so please try to follow the principles of honesty in the future as we always aim we want our children to be the great in the world as our senior principal always says of course everybody has opportunity to become great in the world you may become a great big businessman you may become a entrepreneur you may become a crorebadi you may even become a, the richest person in the world you may have lots and lots of wealth you may have lots and lots of property you may have uh, bags and bags of cash everything might be there and everybody may praise you oh he is a very nice person he is a very big uh, industrialist he is a very big rich person everybody may praise you but they may say analum anyway although he is a rich person although he is a very big entrepreneur he is not a man of disciplines na solluva they will keep a black mark inna da irundalum avanukitta nambikai thanmai illa he is not a man of disciplines we say it very simple avanukitta irukka kudiya olukam illa and and the olukathila mukkiyamana edhu paathina ka honesty people are believing you only because of honesty the integrity if it is lost the integrity nambike tanmai if it is lost if people have found out that you are a liar you are not a worthable person you are a liar you will say you will say you, you will say false statements without any hesitation they will not believe you they may praise you in front of you but at the back of you they may say he is a liar he is not a man of disciplines so you should never take up a situation for a people to curse you at the back so if that situation should not happen again i repeat i want my children to be honest and only honesty can help you in today's very very difficult world in this difficult world if you have to survive only honesty can help you your money cannot help you your bank balance cannot help you the wealth or the car or what type whatever type of car whatever type of bungalows that you have cannot help you what you speak what you see and what you do will only help you so in that particular practice of life you should practice honesty as a good amalian i want you to be honest in life and if you're honest in life i'm sure that you'll be successful successful in life thank you and uh, let me meet you once again in the same program good amalians Goodbye.